Okay, after the latest update of Oxygen OS 14.1 for OnePlus Nord 4, this device have become more smoother and most of the heating issues and throttling issues have been sorted out. This device received a new OTA update yesterday and I've been using this device but there are some AI issues which OnePlus needs to fix. So we'll talk about every change in this video. So first of all, let me show you the software information here. You can see it says Oxygen OS 14.1 and this build is also having the August security patch which is of 5th August 2024. This was the first device to receive August security patch and in the month of August, it's the second update for OnePlus Nord 4. And the version is 14.1.0.401. I did not receive the OTA update so I had to manually install the file. I used the Oxygen OS update application if you guys haven't received the OT update even you guys can download the file from the oxygen os updater application the update size for oneplus nord 4 was 500 mb and i manually installed it so if you guys want to update your device you can just go to update section tap on these three dots select local install and choose the file from the root directory this way you'll be able to install the latest build of oxygen os 14.1 on your oneplus nord 4 and guys now before moving ahead if you guys think the content is useful for you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel okay so as always let's first talk about the benchmark results and we'll compare it with the previous build on previous build we used to see a lot of throttling issues on oneplus nord 4 but as said oneplus have fixed those throttling issues on this latest build talking about geek benchmark application you can clearly see a huge difference in the multi-core scores previously single core scores were 1758 and now they are above 1800 and also if you take a look at the multi-core scores now they are 4612 previously it was 4082 and a huge bump can also be seen in the antutu benchmark testing wherein previously the scores were 11 lakh 29,000 now they are 12 lakh 64,000 also we performed the same test of 100 thread up to 30 minutes now you can see on the previous build the maximum cpu had throttle 58 percent and average gives about 2 lakh 90,000 but now you can see the results maximum cpu have throttle 67 percent and the average gifts are also 3 lakh 45,000 which is a huge improvement and with the wildlife extreme stress test also you can see the stability scores on this latest build are 93 percent previously it was 56.3 percent so to test out the performance, I put the Nord 4 to test with BGMI and right off the bat, I noticed that gaming performance has definitely improved, the gameplay was smoother and the frame rate were also consistently high. Now there's only one thing which OnePlus needs to fix or you can say they need to work on and that's adding 90 FPS support for screen recording. Currently as soon as you start the screen recording, the FPS drops from 90 to 60 but here's the good news, even with the screen recording on the Nord 4 delivers a constant 60 frames per second which is still a great and keep the gameplay fluid. We played a few matches in 90 FPS and without a doubt I can say this device can easily deliver above 80 FPS after this latest update. The gameplay felt incredibly smooth with no noticeable stutters or lags even in intense moment. After a gaming session, we checked the average FPS and it constantly delivered above 85 frames per second and the best part is we did not notice much of heating which is a huge plus for extended gaming sessions. So in terms of overall performance in gaming, the OnePlus Nord 4 has stepped up its game. Literally with this update, if you are into gaming, especially BGMI, this device won't disappoint you. But one thing which I was hoping that OnePlus should remove all these bloatwares which comes pre-installed, though I know we can disable it, but in past we have seen OnePlus had removed the bloatwares with the updates. Currently that's not the story with OnePlus Nord 4. We do have all the bloatwares which comes out of the box. And another thing which I feel OnePlus needs to fix and that's the AI feature what they have implemented. So let me show you an example of AI Eraser. So here is a screen recording. I wanted to erase this pet from the image and you can see when I erased it, the results were something different. Instead of erasing, the OnePlus AI replaces the pet with a bird. So this is something which I personally feel OnePlus needs to actually work on AI. I know it's an AI, but Eraser actually means to erase the object. And another thing which doesn't work most of the time and that's the AI best face. So for example, here in the group you have a person whose eyes were closed while taking a shot. Later on, we do have OnePlus AI which can fix it but you can see most of the time I have seen this error no expression with open eye have been recorded so it's unable to fix and it's not like we get to see the same error with all the photos in some cases it do works so I click multiple photos at the same time in this photo it do works so if I tap here and now if I tap on AI best face you can see it says fixing close eyes and now it has detected the individual so here you can see the results and if I tap on compare the AI have made changes and opened the eyes I hope OnePlus makes it better with Oxygen OS 15 but what do you guys have to say about OnePlus AI let us know in the comment section below. And also another thing which I would like to mention but I made a mistake here while using this device so I had to transfer some photos and I connected my device to PC due to which the battery sets got reset. But don't worry after this latest update we do get a good screen on time on OnePlus Nord 4. I'll keep you guys posted about screen on time in a review video. Now let me also show you the change logs. so as per the change logs, there's nothing much changed and if you guys are thinking about this new UI of about section 
there is a apk which you can download that you guys can find it on a telegram group so here you can see if you see the changes which are layer to system and camera so i do have some samples clicked after the update we'll talk about camera changes also according to the first change log they say they have improved the experience of scrolling screenshot so whenever you used to take a scrolling screenshot or you can say the long screenshot and if by chance notification appears that used to also get recorded in the long screenshot but now if you are taking the long screenshots the live alerts won't pop up so this is one change what they have done after that they have improved the system stability and performance and we have already seen a lot of improvements in the performance part and the last change is layer to camera application which says improve camera performance for a better user experience so i personally wasn't able to find any noticeable change but here are the photos you guys can take a look at in the low light conditions the nord 4 captures well lit scenes with minimal noise the camera handles the artificial lighting effectively preserving details and maintaining a balanced contrast the colors are vibrant and true to life while the dynamic range ensures that both highlights and the shadows areas are captured clearly in good lighting conditions the camera excels in producing sharp detailed images with accurate color reproduction whether capturing indoor scenes or vibrant outdoor landscapes the nord 4 maintains the natural look with balanced exposure and immersive dynamic range the focus is precise and the image shows a pleasing depth of field without overwhelming background blur selfies are also well exposed with natural skin tones and accurate colors the lighting is well managed ensuring that subject is evenly lit without harsh shadows or blown highlights portrait edge detection is really good but if the lighting is too harsh the device fails to separate the background and foreground which you can see here on one side of this t-shirt overall nord 4 camera is actually good and it's nice to see that oneplus is improving with regular updates so guys these are all the improvements and changes what i have noticed on oneplus nord 4 after this latest update if you guys have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video